We are tracking breaking news out of the Netherlands. We are now hearing from the mayor three people have been killed. I can tell you a sweeping manhunt is underway for at least one suspect. There was a shooting on a streetcar in the central city of Utrecht. And as I mentioned, this is the latest news. We're hearing that three people are dead. The source is the mayor. Police say they continue their investigation. A number of people, as I mentioned, are wounded, and we are hearing some of those who are wounded are in critical condition. Here's the other thing we're tracking. Is this terrorism? Police are not calling it terrorism just yet. But here's what I can tell you. The terror threat level in central Holland has been raised to its highest level. I can also tell you the German federal police have boosted border surveillance. And we do know that heavily armed tactical police have converged on an apartment block near the scene of the shooting. So we're keeping an eye on this story definitely as three people now confirmed dead. The source is the mayor of Utrecht. And police have released a photo of this suspect they are hunting. Here he is. They say he is a 37-year-old man. Not clear if the raid reportedly underway at that apartment block is related to this particular individual. But it's a story we are tracking very closely for you. And we'll give you a live look at the scene coming up. Here it is, the tram where that reported incident took place and left three people dead. This is where the investigation continues with police right now. So as we watch this story unfold, we are also getting some information from on the ground. We've got freelance journalist Lauren Comato. She's on the story live from Amsterdam. What's the latest, Lauren? Yes, well, as you mentioned, this is very much an ongoing situation. The police have just released that photo of that Turkish man, 37-year-old Turkish man, Gokman uh, Tanir, saying to... Uh, don't approach him, but if you see him, call a hotline number. The city of Utrecht is basically uh, on lockdown. Schools have been closed. There's no train service and trams. Mosques have been closed. There's been increased uh, security all through the country at airports, as you mentioned, the German border in the Hague Parliament. Uh, so, right, and the number that you've mentioned, three dead from the Utrecht mayor, that is the first we've heard uh, in terms of concrete numbers from the authorities. We know several are injured. There have been reports of many people taken to the hospital, but we're still waiting, uh, you know, as this unfolds to see what happens. Now, the government, uh, any word from, from it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, the prime minister said he's deeply confirm, uh, concerned. He says it's a very worrying situation, and he's called it startling. Uh, there's an election here next year, uh, next week. They've just uh, uh, stopped campaigning. Uh, again, they, they're saying that this is, they're not ruling out a terrorist uh, motive, and they're doing everything they can to apprehend the suspect, telling people to stay inside. Uh, the government has formed a, a a crisis team and everyone right now is just on this mass massive manhunt looking for the suspect. The mood there in uh, in Utrecht, I mean, this is a part of, of Europe that we know has been watching in horror as other cities have gone through terrorism uh, attacks. Police not using that word in particular right now, but that's got to be on everyone's lips. Absolutely. Again, they're saying they're not ruling it out. Uh, the Netherlands has been, I guess you can call it lucky if you want, saying we have for sure escaped a lot of the terrorist attacks we've seen in France, in England, in Germany. Uh, that being said, I've spoken with many terrorism experts over the years who have always said it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. They have been preparing, but people are jittery, people are on high alert, and for sure um, this is definitely something that shakes up a really normally quiet country, and especially the central city of Utrecht. Uh, it's pretty uneventful place and people are, you know, extremely worried and concerned. Lauren, I also want to ask you, when you talk about a lockdown, it, it tells me that police are, are on the streets, they're, they're investigating this, they don't want anybody outside in case there is concern. Is that what you're hearing? Schools closed, businesses in the area? Yeah, and excuse me, I may be not an official lockdown, but authorities have definitely told everyone to stay inside. Mm -hmm. uh, 
malls are closed. There's no tram ser service. Uh, we've seen pictures. All the um, stores, uh, many stores are being closed. Even the famous Dom Kirk, where people uh, apparently want to go and lay candles, that's been closed. So the street, the, the images we're seeing from the city make it really look like a ghost town. I'm just looking at the alerts, Lauren, and I want to keep you informed as well. This is uh, coming from the mayor of Utrecht, who does confirm three people killed, but also we have a number of injured right now. We're hearing that nine people were injured in that tram shooting. So police, I'm sure, are looking at those numbers. They're probably talking about any weapon that might have been used by this suspect. I'm wondering why they won't cross that bridge into, you know, uh, if they've gone up to the maximum uh, threat level, why not say this is what we know and this we're considering this a terrorism uh, attack? You know, I would just have to say the Dutch are very cautious. They don't come out running and screaming before they know the facts. Just that they named the suspect and sent a pic, uh, put a picture of him. Of course, they're looking for him. That was very unusual. Suspects here are identified even in court by their first name and last initial. So I would say that they're much more cautious uh, in how they go about this. But, you know, the news will be dripping out in drips and drabs over the course of the day. All right, I want to thank you for the information, Lauren. We'll probably talk again as we get more, but this is a breaking story we are following for our Canadian audience. Lots of interest as well where you are. Thanks for that. That's freelance journalist Lauren Comato. She is in Amsterdam.